Um, so Alzheimer's disease is a prime example of translational failure where we've had thousands of treatments tested in animal models, but very few has actually came through into clinical trials and, and has modified the disease. So um, here, at, or not here, but in Edinburgh at Camradis, what we try to do is use systematic reviews and meta-analyses to try and understand this translational failure and address some of the causes. Um, but to do this across such a large field of preclinical data, we really require automation. Um, so we've been trying to build an automated framework for this disease area. So what we've done, um, we've implemented an automatic search so that when new references become available on PubMed, for example, they're automatically pulled into the pipeline. Then, um, an often underappreciated step is we need to remove those references which are not relevant to our research question. And I built a tool uh, to do this in R automatically, which doesn't require any manual intervention. Then uh, the next stage of the systematic review is we need to exclude those studies which are not relevant. And um, to do this, rather than reading thousands of abstracts by ourselves, we can actually train a machine to do this for us once we've done a couple of thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we've done. Um, then from, the, from our included data set, we can take those full text PDFs and we can actually retrieve some information automatically. Um, we use a text mining technique called regular expressions to automatically categorise into different outcome measures, treatments, animal models, and to also get an assessment of the risk of bias. And then importantly, what we've done is fed all this information into an interactive web application, which I built using R and Shiny. And this is just an example of it here. And what this allows us to do is it allows researchers to go on and, auto and very quickly get an overview of the field. And also for meta researchers like us, we can go on and actually download a filtered uh, reference list, which we can use for the start of our systematic review. Importantly, this can also allow us to tra track research improvement and it ap can apply to other research areas as well. This is a QR code in the right-hand corner if anyone wants to have a look at the application and I'd love to integrate more tools into this to make it even better. Thank you.